So they both said at the same time, almost in unison. Nothing. Nothing. So he says, Damn, my girl says she had a bad night too. We finna go pick her up right now. So they pick her up and he goes, Babe, nobody made shit. Y'all trying to trap? Trapping in stripper bitch lingo means putting that pussy on the street for greenbacks. So Jessica goes, Hell yeah, you got some clients? Zola in the back quiet as a church mouse pissing on cotton. He said, Nah, but we can get some. So just like, Say yeah, cause we need to trap. Oh, but Jared is at the room. So he goes, I wasn't putting y'all in that shithole motel room. That's for Jared. Zola's still quiet. Just listen. They pull up to this nice ass hotel on the other side of town. He goes, I'll get some clients together and I'll text y'all on this. And hands Jess a trap phone. Whole time all this shit is going down, Zola is mind blown. Like, completely. What the fuck? Like, I can't believe all this shit is really happening. This shit is crazy. So they get to their suite. Nice as fuck. Zola waited all the way until it was just her and Jess, and she went the fuck off. Zola said, Bitch, you got me fucked up, and I'm not about to play with you, ho. I'm going home. So Jess started to cry. <laughs> Zola, I'm sorry. I just didn't want to take this trip alone. Please don't leave me. <laughs> I would be so scared out here by myself, please. So Zola like, oh my God, bitch, really? At this point, she feeling bad for the little hoe. So Jess says, you can just check the guys in. He's not going to make you trap, I promise. Zola said, oh, bitch, I know he ain't. Because I'll dead ass kill both of y'all ass verbatim. So Jess cleans herself up. Then there's a knock on the door. Zola answers the door. It's a fat white man, and he says, oh. I'm here for the white girl. Sola checked his pockets, took his wallet, and let him in. Jess and the fat white man start getting it the fuck in right on the bed next to Zola. It was nothing less than a hot ass mess. Shit was disgust. So when they was done, he slid her a smooth hundred dollar bill. So Zola said, Jess, you selling coochie for a hundred dollars? Pussy is worth thousands, bitch. You tripping. I don't make the prices. The prices are negotiated before they come up. So Zola like, bitch, no. You're wildin'. If you gonna do this, huh? Well then do it right. So Zola took some pics of Jess to put on Backpage. For all of y'all that don't know about Backpage, Backpage is kind of like Craigslist. But for your pussy though. So she uploaded pictures of Jess as well as the number to the trap phone. And a minimum of 500 for that coochie. Do y'all know that that phone started blowing up? So Zola like, see bitch, I got you. A nigga coming up right now. He gonna pay 500 for 15 minutes. He comes to the door. Zola checks him in and just gets him off. When they done, he come off that bread and roll out. They was doing this all night. She smashed like 20 dudes and her sorry ass pimp can only get her three. All right y'all, so around like six in the morning, Guess who called? Jared. Just answered the phone on the speaker. Hello? It's me. No, I'm fucking with y'all. She ain't say that. That's Adele. She just said hello regular. Jared is pissed. Where the fuck are you and Zola? The club's been closed, Jess. So Jess says, We went to another club because it was slow. So Zola in the background thinking on her feet like, Bitch, let me Google 24-hour strip clubs because this nigga. She was trying to help Jess lie, but Jared was not with it. That boy was livid. Jared said, Jess, if you went home with the guy, you're dead. Put Zola on the phone. So Zola thinking to herself like, Man, I'm gonna end up killing these crazy white niggas. So then he start cursing Zola. Where the fuck are y'all? I know she's lying. Zola, don't be a whore like her. Zola said, oh nah, trust me, I'm not. He hung up on her and that was that. They didn't hear from Jared for the rest of the night. They fall asleep. A few hours later, the big black dude show up. Now, at this point in the story, we still don't know his name. So he says, how much you make last night? Jess says, um, 5,500. Zola thinks to herself, why the fuck did this bitch just tell him how much we made? I pimped her, not him. So he says, what the fuck? How? I mean, it's good, but I only sent you three clients. Jess said, uh oh, because Zola made me a back page account. So Zola thinking like, oh wow, this bitch. 
Here we go. So he goes, Hey Zola, let me find out you can do my job better than me. Zola said, I was just trying to help her out. Like, I, I really don't care. Plus, your clients were cheap as fuck. So he started laughing. Then he says, <laughs> Pass me that bread. Just gave him all that shit. Like, all that shit. And he said, Hey, good looking out, Zola. You a real And he passed off $500 to her. She put that shit in her bra like, bitch. Got to tell me twice. <laughs> so then Jess says, Hey, but, but what about me? So he said, Psh Man, you still owe me rent, and you been on me rent for months. So Zola like, Damn, that's crazy. So they leave, and they on their way back to Jared at the Raggedy Inn Motel. Because y'all remember, all they stuff still there. When they pull up, they see Jared outside smoking weed with some random dude. Now pay attention here, y'all. They all get out the car and walk over to him. Jared says, Here they go right here. So the pimp say, Hey, who go, little nigga? And who this? So Jared start laughing and says, <laughs> <laughs> nah, he was just asking me who I was here with. I said to my girl and her friends. That's all he asked. Chill, bro. It ain't, I mean, chill. Then the guy Jared was with start laughing and said, <laughs> All right, man, I'll catch you later. I see you around. Nice meeting you, bro. Then walks off. He was a black guy with dreads. Y'all know how Florida niggas be looking. So now they all go up to the room. The pimp is going off on Jared. Yo. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't know these niggas? And I can't believe you told them that you got two bitches up here. Jared says, he asked me why I was out here mad last night. <sighs> All I said was my girl went out with her friend to work yesterday, and I didn't want her to. Now the pimp says, So that nigga know his money up here now. Hell nah, I ain't with it. Pack y'all shit, we out now. We gotta go, now. Zola and Jess looking like... So they all pack their shit and head out. 